there's a lot of confusion and speculation when it comes to identifying the mark of the beast. So let's look at scripture. Revelation 13 verses 16 and 17 says the beast will cause all both small and great, rich and poor, free and slave to receive a mark on their right hand or on their foreheads and that no one may buy or sell except one who has the mark. Let's now look at what the mark is not. It's not a vaccine. Neither is it a virus. Why would so many speculate that it is, when the scriptures say clearly it's a mark on the hand or on the forehead? This verse also gives us the reason for the mark. It's for the purpose of commerce. Those who don't have the mark will not be able to buy or sell. Fifty years ago, when I first heard preachers talking about a mark on the back of the hand that restricted the whole world from buying or selling, it did seem rather far-fetched. A Distant Thunder was a Christian movie that was released way back in 1978. Because of copyright laws, we're not allowed to show you this clip, but I'll read to you the one minute of dialogue between this young lady and her grandmother. She looks up at her grandmother and says, Well, what about the mark? Her grandmother says, Open up my Bible, honey, to Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. The young lady then reads directly from scripture, and he causeth all, small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. She then asks, does that mean people will have to wear the mark? She answers, oh my yes, people won't be able to buy clothes or food or gasoline. She replies, well, that sounds like Dad's credit card. The grandmother answers, well, to a lot of people, it'll seem like a new type of credit card, and people will welcome it. Why would everybody be restricted from buying or selling? And how could that be done? The technology wasn't available. Nowadays, it is. When Elias Brotberger goes to work, he doesn't need ID. And he doesn't need money. In fact, much of what he needs to get through the day is hidden right there, just below the surface, in his hand.